New president-elect of the Maldives, Mohamed Moiz, arrives at his party headquarters to smiles and handshakes. After starting the campaign as the underdog, Moiz emerged with a clear margin that left no doubt about his victory. Celebrations in the narrow streets of the capital, Mali, but Moiz has urged restraint until campaign restrictions are lifted. Independent observers satisfied that the election passed without major incident. No small feat in a nation comprising more than a hundred islands spread over a thousand kilometers. There's still much more to be done on opening up the democratic space. Some voices are, are lower than others. Um, certainly the voice of, of women has not been very loud in, in this election or, or very prominent. We noted that certainly there wasn't a woman among the candidates and, and women are absent from many levels of high authority in the Maldives. For the new president, now the hard work begins. His campaign rhetoric of India out may be harder to implement. India is deeply invested in the Maldives, having granted major loans for infrastructure development that are vital to economic growth. Removing their Coast Guard personnel may be popular with the voters, but could provoke a dispute with New Delhi that Malé cannot afford. And he'll have to keep his supporters happy. One of Moise's pledges was to seek release for former President Abdullah Yamin, currently serving an 11-year prison term for corruption. But while Yamin still commands a lot of support, his return to the party could be a threat to the new president. It's very likely that um, Mr. Muiz would seek to distance himself from Yamin in the interest of his own political career because Yamin is, if Yamin is still interested in coming back to power, that, that would be the sort of more rational thing from the point of view of Mr. Muiz. Calm turquoise waters that made the Maldives famous just off the coast of the main island a day after the elections. But this tranquility may not last long for the president-elect, who will likely face turbulent seas in the months ahead. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Mali.